Okay, so in the last video, we looked at an application called Paint 3D. It is available in the Windows 10 Creators Update. If you haven't received the update yet, I explained in the last video how you can manually download it and have it installed in your computer, or you can just wait for your computer to be updated on its own. Now, in this video, I want to show you another application called 3D Builder. Now, 3D Builder has a wide range of of uses. One of them is that you can design an object and then have it 3D printed. Well, that's not what we're going to look at. We just really want to look at the uh, 3D model, the digital model, making changes to that and how that interacts with Paint 3D. So in short, when you have an object in Paint 3D, it can be saved as one of two formats can be saved as FBX, which we looked at in the last video. It could also be saved as 3MF. 3MF is the file format that Builder uses. Okay, So you can save a file from Paint, open it up in Builder, do some advanced editing, then open it up again in Paint, and at that point, save it as an FBX. And there's two tools in particular that I want to demonstrate. So let's click on New Scene. And uh, for this first time, I'm not going to do the importing from Paint 3D. I'm just going to create an object here. So let's look at Taurus. So this is something that the um, Unity that Unity does not have by default. It has a few primitives such as cubes, cylinders, uh, orbs. It doesn't have a Taurus. I'm not quite sure why they don't keep the name uh, similar. They call it Taurus here in Paint 3D. They call it a donut. So whatever. Function the same thing. It's a ring hollow center. Now with the tool, say, let's go up to edit. And let's start with split. Okay. What you can do is you can split this without corrupting its appearance. So when you export it into Unity, it'll look just like this, but then you can uh, move the pieces uh, apart. So let's take a look. We're going to click on Split. As you can see, this appears. Okay, This plane, this shows you what's being kept and what's being lost. If you notice, there's nothing on the bottom. So in the upper left corner here, you can see Keep Top, Keep Bottom, and Keep Both. So Keep Top, Keep Bottom. Keep both. And before we go any further, I want to point something out. This looks hollow. The bad news is it is not. It will actually be solid. So if you're hoping this would be an easy way to make a dish or a bowl or something, unfortunately, I'm not sure why it does that. Uh, but when you actually do the split, it will not be hollow. So why would you want to do keep both? Well, because as we said, you may want an object that's destructible. Or, uh, just as this looks like a donut, what else does it kind of look like? Well, it kind of looks like a bagel. Maybe you're making a cooking sim, and one of the meals that could be prepared is, say, a bagel. Well, you need that bagel to be opened up and have a top and a bottom. And um, you want to be able to control how, you know, uh, how much further the top is from the bottom, depending on how many uh, ingredients are in between it. So maybe you want it to start looking like a solid bagel, and then you have to separate it. Um, another example that I can think of is if you've played Overcooked. At one point, the ingredient is solid, and then at another point, once you've cut it up, it splits up. Same kind of thing. By splitting up like this, it will look solid at once, and then you just use like a line of code that then splits it. We well, can't split it if it isn't already split to begin with. So that's what you'd use keep both for. So let's go ahead and save this with this being split roughly in the middle. So we'll do split. You can see there's the separation line. And we'll save this as, let's call this bagel. Oh, split bagel. Now let's actually get rid of this one. So we'll do new scene, new scene, 
and we'll again do Taurus. Now we're going to look at a different use. So we need to rotate this object. So I chose the rotate here, and we really need to rotate it two different ways. So let's rotate it. Actually, yeah, just this way is fine. Now we're going to again go to edit, and we're going to again go to split. And this time, rather than keeping both, we're going to do keep top. So you can see that the bottom's disappeared, and if you were to rotate this, you would see that it kind of looks you know, kind of like a slinky, although it's solid. But you can definitely think of uses for this where it's like an arch. So rather than having just a donut or a torus, you can now split that and have an arch. So rather than having, you basically created a new type of primitive because you can't do that in Paint 3D. You just have the torus. But by using the split tool, you've effectively created a new type of primitive. So we will do split. Save as. And we'll call this arch. Okay, so that's two different usages for um, the split tool. We'll look at one more. So new scene, new scene. This time we're going to use a sphere. Again, we're going to go to edit. We go to split. Keep both. Grab that. Move it up. So grab that plane and move it up. And we do split. Now you can do this again. It doesn't prevent you from splitting yet again. So split, move that down, and now you've really split your orb into three parts. So why would you do this? Uh, maybe it's some kind of drone weapon, like it flies up to you looking like a circle, and then you can picture the top and bottom separating, and maybe there is like a, a weak part or like a gun or something inside whatever a power core something like that so uh, maybe it's also some kind of explosive device that you throw it's solid you click a button the thing opens up to let you know it's going to detonate and then you toss it so that's the idea is that you you've taken something that was solid broke it down into multiple pieces so you can then manipulate it whether it's because you want it to be destructible or because you want this object to have multiple stages you can now manipulate it so let's do so we have keep both we do split, and we'll save this as split orb, and we'll save. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to paint, open, browse, and we have arch so we open it and then we save as export and now you can see it's fbx so we'll call it arch Open, browse. So there's arch. Split bagel. Save as export. Split bagel. And again, make sure you're saving it in the FBX format. Okay, and now we open, browse, and the last one is split orb. So again, save as, export, split orb, FBX, save. and conversion complete.
Okay, so now let's go over to Unity. So we open Unity, we open our folder, and now make sure you're dragging and dropping the FBX files. So we'll drag and drop the arch, and just like any other resource, it's just a matter of dragging and dropping. So like a sound resource or a 2D image, back to the folder, split bagel, drag and drop. Whoops, sorry, I think I grabbed the wrong one. But at least you know what it looks like when you grab the wrong one, you don't see the preview. So split bagel FBX. There you go. So rather than having that little default icon, you can see it's the split bagel. And then last but not least, we have the split orb. And again, I grabbed the wrong one. Making mistakes because this took a few takes, so split orb. There we go. See, I'm seeing the image, so I'm like, oh, that's the one I want, when in fact, the one you want doesn't show the image. Okay, so let's take a look at this now. So let's start with the arch. We're going to drag and drop that into the environment, and of course, it's too huge. So we click on the arch, and here's the scale factor. We'll make that 0 0.01 like we normally do. Click on Apply, and there it is. You now have an arch. You can break this up if you want. See the little arrow? You can see what's there. And you just can you know, rotate this. Like I said, it's solid, so even though it looks like it's hollow, it's not. So you can use this for a variety of reasons, but now you've effectively created a new a new primitive because Unity has, like I said, cube, sphere, capsule, cylinder, and then it stops as far as 3D objects. So you can import the orb, you can import the donut, you can split them. The donut, you can split the orb. I didn't. I did a three-way split, but you could say split it just one way. Now you have a dome. All right, so let's delete that one. Now let's look at the bagel. Actually, before we move it, let's just shrink it because we know it's wrong. There's the bagel. Now, if you separate it here, or should I say you expand, see how there's two meshes this time? There's a top and a bottom. So if you take the transform See, you can separate this. So you could have it appear as a solid bagel, and then maybe you have to slice it, and then it would look separated, and then you stack ingredients between it. That's one example. You could do other things with it. Okay, so let's delete the bagel. And the last one is the split orb. 0 0.01, apply split orb and now this one if you expand you will see there's three so like i said maybe you have this orb approaching you and then suddenly it opens up and maybe there's a gun in the bottom and a power cell at the top or like i said maybe this is going to be really small and it's an explosive device you click it it opens up to let you know that it is armed wide range of things you could do with this or even this you could use um in the uh cooking example the top is bun bottom is bun and the middle is bun things like that um so i think that's about it actually let's just click on the main camera so you can see what it looks like so i think that's about it so the idea is that uh you would use paint to do the majority of like the detailing and, and that kind of thing but then you could use 3D Builder to like splice it up. And that's just one tool. There's another tool I'll show you, but uh, this video is going on long enough, I think, and I'll, I'll use that one as a separate one because I don't just want to use the tool. I want to use it and then explain why it matters to you. And, and this is one example is maybe it's not quite right to say that the object is destructible because if it's destructible, you're probably going to have it break up into more pieces than that. But at least now you can manipulate it. You could have, like I said, you can have this like transform. Okay, so that should about do it.